Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna celebrate the new addition to the family. We have right here the new Hydra scent. We're gonna review it today, give my first impressions. So let's do this. Okay, so here is, this is the Hydra Synth, ACM Hydra Synth. Uh, I got this a couple days ago, I haven't had much time to play with it, um, but as you can already tell, uh, the keyboard, the synthesizer that I said that I was never gonna sell, it went this weekend. Yeah, I gave in, and the Uno 60 has a new happy owner now in Saskatchewan. We're gonna give you my first impression about the synthesizer. It's very well built. I don't know about that color though, I don't like these orange colors, but that's just about the looks. Uh, and you can judge it depending on, on what you find sexy in synthesizers and whatnot. Um, uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Roland 90s 2000 cheap keyboard synthesizers that they built, but, but well, it's not just about the looks, like some people say, uh, or what they people, girls usually tell me, it's about the inside. and. <laughs> And this is what's great about the synthesizer. The sounds are, are, are awesome. And this ribbon thing. And of course, what everybody's been commenting about, the polyphonic aftertouch, which is great. And it just opened my mind on how many things we can do with this synthesizer. So, um, so yeah, no, I'm very happy with it. Very well built metal. I don't know if this is metal or plastic. I can't figure it out yet. I think it's plastic, but yeah. The back of it though reminds me of the Emacs. Uh, yeah, the sampler. You know, the Emu Emax emulator, actually emulator, yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know, for some reason it reminds me a little bit of that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the arpeggiator uh, for this one. Example, we're gonna pick one of the sounds here. It's, it's called Go Your Own Way. Oh, interesting name. So that's the sound. I'm gonna turn on the arpeggiator on. So there it is. So you have, of course, different uh, types, types of arpeggiator, up and down. Up, down. Right. You get to control the tempo. I'm gonna leave it up and down. You get your octaves. One, two, three, four. And then you get your division. So one, four, six, sixteenths. Reduce very fast. Then you get your swing. And then you get some extra control here. Ratchet. Chance. It will just do like a random pattern. And gate. And then you get latch, of course. Do triplets. And tap your tempo. Okay, so last night uh, I built uh, this sound over here, the one that uh, I was playing uh, at the beginning there. Right, so uh, I try to make it just very simple uh, on oscillator one. I got a square saw, um, a square wave, and then oscillator two, I got saw wave, and then another square on the third one. I play a little bit on the mutant there with the modulation in all of uh, in the first two uh, oscillators and then I mix them up all of them all the way up and this is a tricky section of course this is a digital synthesizer the filters uh, it, they sound pretty decent um, for me I'm, I'm not too uh, picky when it comes to filters I know some people get very touchy about this uh, uh, about 
a synthesizer filter, but it has some pretty good emulations, and also it has many options for 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 filtering. And you got the filter one and two. I play a little bit with the envelope amount, and also this is that is pretty cool. So you can play with your low pass, with the high pass. Pretty easy. And then just give it a little bit of amplitude because uh, bass sounds usually they're not that powerful um, volume wise. And add a little bit of chorus effects, some reverb, and there you have it. So um, I made it pretty simple. Of course, this is you can do many, many, many different things with this. Yeah, it was just for me to try something. Uh, I'm pretty uh, picky about the bass sounds for sure. So it needs to sound better than the mock I have. So. Um, and actually it does. That's the other problem about the synthesizer that makes everything else sounds pretty bad. So <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I really like it. I'm gonna spend a lot of time with it for sure. Uh, when I buy something I really like to dig into it and try to get as much as I can out of it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's keep browsing over here. <laughs> Looking to that one. Crazy, crazy. Great sounds, great sounds, guys. Pew pew, pew pew. Yeah, that's how it's called. Uh, overall, the patches are all right. Uh, I'm more like a classic synth guy, so there is a lot of uh, synth sounds over here that are way out of my comfort zone, I will say. But um, but they're amazing, and that's what I like. I like to get out of the box a little bit and start playing with this thing. I think I can. Uh, it can motivate me to do different kind of music and add different type of sounds to to the live band. So. Yeah, very excited about it. I just need more time with it. I just wanted to give you a quick update. So thank you again for watching. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you again for stopping by. And please remember to subscribe, like the videos, leave your comments. We'll see you next time.